Explore Yacht fans, stay tuned because in this video we will look at Numarine's 22XP Explorer Yacht, the latest addition to Numarine's fleet of capable Explorer Yachts. There is the 26XP, the 32XP, the 37XP and the incredible 45XP Super Yacht. The 22XP has all of the same features as the 26XP, but inside a 22 meter hull. The 22XP's interior is the most voluminous for a 70 foot motor yacht. She has been described as a compact explorer yacht that can take owners anywhere. Before we take a closer look, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as most of you will forget to hit that subscribe button. The 22XP has a length overall of 22.6 meters. She has a beam of 6 meters and a draft of 1.84 meters. She has a displacement of 59.65 tons and can carry 6,000 liters of fuel. She is powered by twin Cummins 425 horsepower engines, giving her a top speed of 13 knots, a cruising speed of 9 knots and an economical speed of 8 knots. When cruising at 8 knots then the 22 XP has a range of 1500 nautical miles. Let's take a closer look starting with the 22 XP's huge flybridge. As you can see the flybridge on the 22 XP is massive and is perfect for anyone who wants to host big gatherings. Next we come to the main deck. Aft of the centre helm position we find the enclosed galley to port and starboard of the galley we find a table and chairs leading back into the large saloon which then takes us out into the cockpit before arriving at the swim platform. New Marine offers two different arrangements for the accommodation layout aboard the 22 XP. This is the four cabin configuration with a VIP cabin forward, a double guest cabin to starboard and a twin single to port. The full beam master cabin is located midships, ensuring maximum comfort whilst underway. After the master cabin is the engine room with the crew quarters and accommodation located in the stern. The three cabin configuration has a VIP cabin forward and a master bow cabin in place of the two cabins on the four cabin configuration. The helm position on the 22 XP benefits from the advantage of forward raking windows which help to not only reduce glare and heat from the sun but also help to increase visibility when motoring through big seas. I also like how the helm seating has an L shaped configuration which is great for when guests and visitors want to get a captain's eye view of what is happening. Note also the large window to port which contributes to the fantastic visibility from the helm position. All displays including the Raymarine chart monitor are neatly laid out on the control panel with the two Cummins engine management monitors well positioned for easy monitoring. 
The 22 XP is destined to be an extremely popular explorer yacht, as highlighted by the fact that five hulls were purchased before New Marine had even launched hull number one. For 30 years now, I have been a fan of Explorer, Expedition and Trawler Yachts, so I fell in love with the lines of the XP series of Explorer Yachts as soon as I first saw one. But here are some of my favourite features of the 22 XP. I love the sleek lines and curvature of the superstructure, which gives this Explorer Yacht an almost sporty feel. The huge windows throughout the 22 XP are distinctive and will no doubt give lucky owners the sense that they are an intricate part of their surroundings. And of course, if you want some privacy, then the retractable blinds will ensure solitude. The low profile superstructure and the way it has been nestled into the bow, I feel, adds to the sense and perception that the 22 XP will happily take on sea states, which will keep most other vessels of a similar size tied up alongside. The vast flybridge is also another one of my favourite features of the 22 XP. If you are a sociable person and want to really impress your family and friends aboard an explorer yacht that is under 24 metres, then you would be hard pressed to find a vessel of this size with a comparable flybridge when it comes to deck space. I also like the hard top and the fact that it only covers the helm and midships seating position of the flybridge. The sizeable main deck saloon is also another great feature and really does reflect the impression that this Explorer yacht has been designed and built with socialising in mind. But which are your favourite features and why? Let me know in the comments section. If you have got access to a boat that you would like me to feature on my YouTube channel, regardless of size, then please get in touch with me either via my Instagram page or via email at john at yacht-boy.com. As you can probably tell, I am pretty keen to get aboard some boats so that I can shoot some of my own footage and put my drone to good use. I would like to say a big thanks to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel, as it's you, my channel members, who help me concentrate on my passion rather than just worrying about the algorithm recommending my content. Think of YouTube's channel membership as YouTube's version of Patreon. If you want to become a member of my channel, click on the button in the top right of your screen or in the link in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, please consider sending me a super thanks and finally, please do not forget to give this video a like as more people on YouTube will get to see it. Don't forget to sign up for my free newsletter and check out my other videos and playlists. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.